this here is Serato DJ. Let me open it up all the way. My software is already connected. I got my crate over here with my DJ drops. Now, on the top of the screen, what you want to make sure is I, I can't recall, but automatically when you open up Serato DJ for the very first time, it's already enabled. Uh, I'm sure you guys know that there was a full cosmetic upgrade to Serato DJ. So I just started using Serato DJ. I was using Serato Itch for a while. Uh, it's a lot different because everything is here now. Your record button, your FX button, your SP6. Everything's all in one screen. But we are not going to get into all those details. We're going to get into SP6 only. How to set up your DJ sound drops. How to activate them directly from your keyboard. If you don't see your SP6 up here, go to your setup button. Make sure your hardware is connected and you're online. Go to your setup. Go to the expansion packs. And under Serato, I mean under SP6 sample player, make sure the box is checked off and it that it that will enable sp6 sample sample player get out of that now back over here as you can see as you can see i already have certain ones activated because these are the ones that i use at certain parties so there's a total of four banks a b c and d and every bank has six slots one two three four five six slots right Serato DJ is already pre-programmed to activate each slot. The very first slot starts with the letter Z. When you hold down Z, let me make sure I have some volume. When you hold, when you hit Z, you're gonna hear my siren. If I hit it continuously, what it's gonna do is gonna start it over and over and over. All right? So that's done. Now the following slot is going to be triggered by the following letter. What's next to Z is X. So let's hit X. Which is my DJ Sandra, my name. The third one will be triggered by pressing the letter C. Which is my air horn sound effect. Now one thing you need to know is or learn uh, when you're when you're playing with this already this this section here it's the reloop if I want this playing over and over I'm just gonna hit play on there oh wait I ain't got no volume on it this is your volume control how, how loud you want your effect to sound so play with that too you gotta get familiar with when you're playing at a party the music up is, is at a high volume how high do you want this to sound out of your speakers so it just replayed on itself because my reload button is on turn that off and it's gonna automatically turn off the minute it gets to the end all right so it should shut off in three two one shut off there okay so now this here above that reloops button that is trigger mode how do you want it to trigger if you want more information what each control does up here on the top right this little circle with the I in section it's the information section click on that and scroll over to see what everything what everything means on here so this green section is a sample overview it displays the overview for the loaded sample this here is the sample play mode cycle through the play mode to determine what will happen when you play a sample right let's turn this back off because I don't want it seeing all that so if I hit Z right now and I'm just tapping it it's not doing anything it's just giving a quick uh, intro but if I hit it and hold it down it's gonna play my effect if I let it go it's gonna stop it now let's go into the next effect mode there's a little arrow with a little something on front of it let's try it again Oh, it's going to play right through it, but if I tap it again, it's going to stop it. Play, stop. Play, stop. Next effect mode. This little arrow with little dots behind it. What does that do? 
let's try it on this one it's already activated so let's hit this the third slot is assigned to letter C let's hit C that's what that does okay now how do you set this up let's go to I'm gonna go to my bank B I got six same slots again three with no uh, no uh, special effects in there or sound drops so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take off every effect that I have in there already and I'm gonna show you how you can install whatever sound you want into each slot so for starters let's go with an introduction right uh, let's use this one I named this one it's about that time because you'll see why so first of all you want to add a cue point to where do you want that sound drop to begin this is a long uh, not that long but it's a pretty long effect it's pretty much an introduction at the beginning of one of my parties or if I just finished mixing uh, some type of genre and I want to move over to a next one and it's gonna get more better or something then I want to use that one right so let's load this one onto my left deck which is I'm gonna load it on a on my top screen here you can see that I already have one cue point you already have one cue point set up all right so let's go back to the beginning of that sound effect and let's say with Serato DJ I'm gonna delete it up here and there's no cue point set up here right now let's say I want that effect to start right here why because that's my introduction so what I with Serato DJ now you can just bring it to the section where you're gonna set up the cue point hit this little plus sign on the left there's your first cue point all right so you're your your first effect is already queued up to when you assign it to one of these slots. it doesn't matter which one I prefer the first one because it's my introduction so now that that's done let's grab it and bring it over to the first slot drag and drop and it's automatically here now how do I want to trigger it do I want it to play and stop at the end do I want it to do I want to tap the button and hold it down until it finishes or do I want to just trigger it like many times no, no, no. no you don't want to do that so let's change it let's change it we're gonna we want it I want to hit the letter Z once and let it play till it ends now before I do that let's do my air horn sound effect first and we're gonna load that on my deck B so we can set up a cue point let's say for instance I don't have no cue point set up yet right and this is what that sounds like so there's no cue point set up here let's set up a cue point for that on my right deck we're gonna right in the beginning there and we're gonna hit this that's my first cue point right now now that that's ready let's drag this one and put it on on the second slot so after my when I finish saying my DJ name I'm gonna trigger this one by pressing down on letter X continuously because it's a air horn sound effect and this is what I mean by continuously first let's trigger the first slot which is on letter Z and remember I have it programmed to the minute I hit the first letter when I press down on it it's gonna automatically play to the end that's what that means here this one here triggers uh, every time you press the letter down and then it'll keep playing all right so this one won't let's trigger Z oh wait sorry about that that's actually triggered if I let it go it'll stop what we want is the second one which is the one with the arrow and the little slot in front of it so let's trigger it there it goes it's gonna play through my whole effect now let's trigger your horn oh that was too loud make sure you monitor your volumes this is what the what that does here sure it monitors your volumes let's do it again see how that got done now that goes for every single slot Serato DJ is automatically configured 
to whatever uh, sound effect you put on every slot this is the order that is going to be triggered no matter what bank you're in a b c or d it, it applies to every bank on slot one i got that effect on the other one let's let me just drop some on the other banks just so we can that's my dj glass name drop only uh, i got a siren let's put that on the fourth slot let there be house drop let's put it on the fifth slot and i don't have another one in english oh wait where's my facebook one yeah here it goes that's my facebook drop put it on six all right so to trigger the first slot you already know hit z okay to trigger the second slot you're gonna have to hit x which is my air horn to trigger my third slot, I have to hit C. DJ Glass. Now you control it however you want by switching this section up here. Play with that. Learn it. Now to trigger the fourth slot, I'm going to hit the following letter, which is V. That's my siren. Okay. Let's lower the volume on that while they finish playing. Now the next one is the fifth slot. So what's... The following letter now this one's assigned to the letter b let's hold down let's hit b my house drop and i'm ready to make some house music Final slot is assigned to letter N. Okay, back to the beginning. First slot is assigned to assigned to letter Z. Second slot X. Third slot C. Fourth slot V. Fifth slot B. Sixth slot N. All right, that goes to every single bank. Don't worry, whatever you put in there, it's going to play. Just make sure you get familiar with these little top sections. What do they do when they're trigger mode, play mode? Uh, this is reloop mode where it's going to keep relooping until you put stop or etc. etc. Make sure you mess with that. Uh, you can add any song you want on there, you can add a portion of a song if you want to use it as a background while you're making a mix. You can put that in there and reloop it, whatever you want. But this is how you enable SP6, how you trigger your sounds, uh, your sound drops, and pretty much explain. If you have any further questions, leave your comments. Make sure you subscribe, share my video. Uh, there's a link in there to go to my Facebook page. If you can, please uh, support me with a like, share it with your friends. Uh, I play a lot of variety of music from hip hop, Spanish music, all types of music, whether it's hip hop, gangster music, whether it's old school music, Zap and Roger, anything from Spanish to, I mean, whatever gets people going, I'll play it. My preference is hip hop, all the latest hip hop that's playing right now, and the old school. Talking about Zap and Roger, Mac 10, all that West Side Connection type stuff. You know, I'm from Los Angeles, and, uh, that's my style. Check me out on, uh, check out my videos. Make sure you thumbs up, leave your comments. Like I said, I only been doing this for two years. I don't practice too much, but I do practice when I do, when I am in the mood. If you have any more questions, like I said, leave your comments. Thanks a lot and hope you guys learn how to set up your SP6. And let me shut this off because my video is done. All right, you guys have a good one and I'll see you guys soon. Online.